So today's video is probably going to sound really weird because of how random, in a way, it is, but it's been something that's been floating around in my mind recently, and this all relates to, well, the main idea of the season, good and evil fighting each other, but also the power that both sides hold, and which side has more of it. Now what I've just said on its own probably sounds really really vague and almost just confusing, and I really don't blame you for thinking that way, but what I mean here is the fact that well, the Overlord, what power does he truly hold? Well, let's go over that right now. So, presumably, he has the Golden Weapons, or at least he will be getting them. On top of that, he will also be having this kind of crystal effect on the Golden Weapons, which will possibly power them up even further. We know he's got the entire Vengestone stuff going on, along with his huge Vengestone army that he possesses. He has pitted all of the ninja's worst enemies against each other once again, all in one big group, including Harumi, which could be extremely damaging towards Lloyd, the main power of the team, essentially. And also, in a way, he kind of controls most of the crime organizations and just kind of criminals in general in Ninjago. Because while the ninja were in Cryptarian prison, we kind of got the vibe that a lot of these prisoners were hoping they would be getting an invitation to the Crystal King. Meaning they would probably end up being very, very loyal towards the Crystal King if they ever got that chance. So in a way, the Overlord definitely holds some sort of power over them too. And to top everything off here, the Overlord himself is here, which obviously the Overlord on his own poses a huge threat towards the ninja, with or without everything else I've just mentioned here. But then if we go towards the ninja's team, well, what do we have going on? We've got basically just the usual. I mean, yeah, they have some powers, just kind of the usual. We've got the uh, main powers of the ninja team would definitely be Oni Garmadon and obviously Oni Lloyd, but other than that, it's kind of just like the regular stuff, obviously the elemental powers, but so far they don't really have anything that's really going to stand out against the Overlord's incredible power that he holds and will be using towards the finale of this season. So with all of this being said, this leads me to believe that the Overlord holds an incredible advantage over the ninja this time, and obviously, usually at least, the villains do have an advantage to begin with in pretty much every Ninjago season, however this time... I feel like it's been amplified even more to the point where the Overlord and his whole evil side is absolutely leagues ahead of what the ninja have going for them and that is just pretty insane if you ask me and to be honest they are going to have to pull something absolutely incredible off if they are to actually win against the overlord and defeat the returning villains get the golden weapons back defeat the overlord for the final time i'd imagine the so-called potted plant from that old two truths one lie thing will be playing a role in the overlord's defeat in some way i can't really say too much on that though considering we know little to absolutely nothing about that and also lloyd's only form and i guess garmadon's too i feel as though lloyd's in particular is going to have to be incredibly powerful on par with him becoming the golden ninja in season two i feel as though that is the real only way that they are going to even have a chance of defeating the overlord but until then i'm gonna just say and put it out there that the overlord has an incredible incredible advantage over the ninja right now and it's not even a competition in my opinion that only form is seriously going to have to be something we have never quite seen before in terms of power and i guess honestly the same thing goes for garmadon too it seems as though garmadon will be having a role in how lloyd actually unlocks that so i guess garmadon will possibly also be having a role in defeating the overlord it would make sense considering his history with the overlord himself so yeah honestly it's just pretty wild and it kind of paints a picture as to how powerful we can expect this Oni form to be because if they are going to even have a chance at defeating the Overlord and everything he has planned and has going on for him right now it's going to have to be incredibly powerful and that's where I currently stand on this entire thing and those are my thoughts. With all of this being said what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Feel free to drop your thoughts down below in the comments I'd love to hear your thoughts. With all of this being said drop a like on if you did enjoy it, subscribe to the channel for more like this and hit that notification bell so you guys can be the first to watch my new content the second it does come out and with all of this being said I'll see you all in my next video coming out very, very soon. Goodbye.